wonderful Zebulon. I've never seen the children quite so excited to be going on a field trip. This ain't no tour of the crayon factory, Grokey. We're going to the Great State Fair! Ah, <laughs> oh, the Great State Fair. Is there anything fair? If anybody needs me, you can find me at the game booths kicking some Cardi Teaster. I'm eating all the junk food I can lay my hands on, then hitting the thrill rides. Well, I can't wait to see Lardanchuan. Lardanchu what? Lardanchuan! The biggest pig in the whole wide world. And he's right here in our own state fair. Get out! Yeah, Gus. There's gotta be more than a dozen state fairs. And the world's biggest pig just happened to pick ours? It's true. I saw it in the state fair newsletter, on state fair TV, and in the schedule of events that came with this ultra cool state fair t-shirt. Man, Gus, I didn't know the state fair was such a big deal to you. Yeah, well, with my family moving around all the time, I never had a chance to go to any state fair. Never? Nope, but I thought about it plenty of times. The rides, the exhibits, the cotton candy, they all seem like a dream to me. A dream that would never come true. That is so sad. But today, that's all gonna change. I'm finally going to the great state fair with you guys. This is gonna be the best day ever. Yeah! Board the bus in an orderly and harmonic fashion. And please have your signed permission slips ready. Ah, the good old get out of class free card. This is one note from school I'm happy to have my parents sign. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell me you forgot your permission slip, Gus. I had it this morning. My dad signed it at breakfast. And then he must have put it in his pocket by mistake. Maybe your father could bring it from his office. He's not at the office. He's out with the whole division having war games. Mom's out looking at grapes. Not to worry, Gus. Miss Grokey will understand. Thank you, Phil. What's your step duty? Miss Grokey, we got a problem. Gus forgot his permission slip. Oh, my. That is a problem. Without a permission slip, Gus, you can't go. It's school policy. <laughs> Listen, Miss Grokey, going on this field trip really means a lot to Gus. How's about you reconsider with a little help of my good friends, Abraham and George? DJ Deadweiler! Yes, ma'am, that was wrong. What's this I hear? Griswold staying behind? I'm afraid so, Muriel. No problem. I've planned some fantastic activities for both of today's stay behinds. Both of us? Hey, you Griswold. G Gelman? You're staying behind too? TJ, can't you do something? Gus! I promise, somehow, some way, I will get you to that fair. Quickly, children, take your seats or we'll miss Rubbly Earl, the rodeo clown. All right, you left behinds. It's fun time. <coughs> Activity one, a rip-roaring game of old nostalgia. Griswold, you first. Roll the die. Aww. Three, move it, Buster. This golden-throated crooner really made the dame swoon with his big band ballad, Man, That Dame Can Swoon. Uh, Nebraska? Eddie Marengo! Haven't you ever heard of Eddie Marengo? Um, is that my next question? <laughs> oh, never mind. Your turn, Gelman. Roll the die. Thirsty. Uh, you children, always wanting nourishment. So, I guess your dad forgot your permission slip, too. My old man don't believe in fairs. He says they're fixed. Fixed? There's nothing in the universe more wholesome than a fair. They got homemade jelly and blue ribbons and everything. Except they don't got you, do they, short fry? Gelman's right, Griswold. You're not going anywhere. None of us is. So get over it and start having fun. <laughs> You're not amazed by the amazing carrot-shaped pumpkin? <sighs> Reminds me too much of Gus and how amazed he would have been. Look, TJ, I know how you feel, but we're an awful long way from school. Yeah, it would be rather difficult for us to help Gus now. Well, I gotta try. I promised my friend Gus, and somehow I'm gonna get a hold of his dad and get that permission slip. How are you gonna do that, TJ? I don't know, but I better work fast. There's no telling what sort of torture Finster's putting Gus through right now. Sailors, and you do the otter dance. First, you take your right flipper and you slap it on your pants. Next, you take your left flipper and you catch a little fish. Then, you take your little tail and you swish, swish, swish. Yo, 
gentlemen, maybe you didn't hear me. It's time to do the otter dance. My old man don't believe in otters. Actually, Miss Finster, I wouldn't mind not dancing either. Nonsense, Griswold. Children love the otter dance. Now cheer up and dance. Ahoy there, sailor. Can you do the otter dance? First you take your right... This is Lieutenant Griswold. I'm not in my office right now, but I'll be back just as soon as I've destroyed the enemy. Well, it was worth a try. You verified that Gus's father can't be reached by phone at the office. Communicating with him directly while he's on maneuvers would seem impossible. Wait just one minute! The Army uses pigeons to carry messages into the battlefield. I read about it in Senior Fusion 285, the time warp of Johnny Doborn. But TJ... Just a sec, Gretch. Lieutenant Griswold. Gus needs you! Exclamation point, exclamation point. There! That ought to do it! Yes, but TJ... I know, Gretch. It's a crazy idea, but it just might work. Actually, what I've been trying to tell you is that it wasn't a pigeon. It was a dove. A dove? But what kind of person would leave a dove out in a cage? Getting late, ain't it? Told you them so-called friends of yours wasn't coming. Sure they're coming. At least I think they're coming. You've been thinking too much, little squiddy. I could think about going to the fair, too. But it ain't gonna happen, so what's the point? You mean you'd actually want to go to the fair if you could? Yeah, sure. What? Hey! Griswold! Will you stop yapping about the fair? It's bad enough I don't get to go without you reminding me. Miss Finster? Are you saying you like the fair, too? Of course I do. Everybody likes the fair, but I gave up on going a long time ago, because every year I'm stuck here looking after you left-behinds, and you don't hear me complaining. So get over it and finish your liverwurst sculpture of Calvin Coolidge. It's fun! Look, TJ, it's real nice that you're trying to help Gus. Your many plans have been imaginative indeed. Yeah, making a run for the interstate in that bumper car was bold. But TJ, honestly, these ideas of yours, while imaginative, are also completely ridiculous. Face the facts. There's nothing we can do. Gee, sorry guys. I wasn't thinking. Here we are at the fair, and because of me, no one's having any fun. You guys should go enjoy yourselves. And what about you? Well, this morning I promised my friend Gus that I'd get him to the fair, and I will not enjoy myself until I do. And I know just the guy who can help me. Look at this, an antique telegraph. Maybe we could use it to hook up with Lieutenant Griswold. Oh, come on, Teach. I bet that thing hasn't been used in over a hundred years. Come on, guys. It's Gus we're talking about. We gotta do something. TJ, to contact an officer on the field using a telegraph, you'd have to construct a radio amplifier, uplink the signals to a communication satellite, and then hope that somehow the message was received and relayed to the proper coordinates. Okay. I'll need some wire, lots of it. And I'll need some foil and something with a crank. Here we go again. from the cupboard. She suspected the meddlesome Oliver Coppersmith, but how could she be sure? So at bedtime, she declared to the entire orphanage, No! Huh? I don't care what you guys say. My friends said they tried to get me to the fair, so I gotta believe they're trying. And if you don't like that, well, too bad. Look, Griswold, I admire your hopefulness, but the fact is, it's over. No one's coming for you or me or anybody else. We're the left behinds, boy. And that's all she wrote. What did the name Skippy? Dad! Dad, you're here! I'm sorry I took your permission slip, son. But thanks to your friends, you got a state fair to see. What's the matter, son? Dad, but Griswold never leaves the man behind, right? Come on, Gelman. Let's go see the fair. But my old man didn't give me no permission slip. Gelman! We will locate your father. We will engage him in conversation. And he will give you a permission slip. Yes, sir. Wait just one minute. I'm coming, too. And that button there opens a CD player. Neat. 
I gotta hand it to you, Shrimpy. You was right all along. That is one big old pig. 